All right, so let's go ahead and get all the way to the back. Now, I want it, I want it to be known, uh, at least on this one, we're waving to people. You know what, let's just go ahead and watch it. Let's watch it. You guys haven't even seen it yet. All right, that was a panic. Did you guys see his left hand? I'm good. I'm glad he's able to walk yeah. and stand up like that. She checks her back of her car. I mean, I would too if he was walking, but then I'd make sure he's okay. Yeah. 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 Fender's a fender. He's got his hands are good. Got another biker pulled over. Yeah. So the other biker uh, or the motorcyclist pulled over. That was really cool. Let's see if we can get to it. And he got there quick. He was way over there. Um, rescuing other rider guys, smart rider principles. If you have gear, especially in your saddlebags or in your backpack, that can help somebody, bring it. Bring it. Help them out. You never know. All right. Whoa. It's crazy vision. All right. So we're going to be uh, riding. And uh, Jur Kulik with the five. Thank you so much. Uh, so he's waving at these people. Okay. So if you notice, his left hand is is off. Now, I always talk about, you know, go ahead and wave at people, but only do so if uh, it's safe to do so, okay? So this is in this situation where it might be safe to do so. We have this vehicle right here. Um, our total stopping distance is just this much. How comfortable are you at uh, stopping like that? Uh, a lot of times, you're not going to be able to stop. I mean, it's obviously he didn't stop in time, and that's mainly because of, of a panic braking and not using good progressive brake pressure. But the thing is, I talk about, guys, all the time, plan your route, plan your ride, whatever, you know, phrase you want to do, you know, position yourself for safety. So the first thing you want to do with position yourself for safety is be off on the sides, okay? On my second channel, uh, there's going to be a video going up tomorrow that talks really well about this because I'm out riding doing uh, this in real time. Uh, it's about, I don't know how long a video is going to be, but it's me in town riding and I'm sh telling you, talking the whole freaking time. You guys wanted me to be back on the bike, and I'm on the bike. I just don't post everything. So anyways, position yourself for safety because if this person decides to slam the brakes and stop, which kind of what happens here, you're already in a lane filtering position. And to where now all you have to do is kind of adjust just a teeny bit. So like you're on the line right here, and now you're on the shoulder. And that's it, and you're not going to hit anybody. Now it's going to be that oh crap moment, so you're going to still want to apply the brakes, and you're still going to want to try to stop because you don't know why people are stopping somebody could be turning right and now you collide into them but that's still going to buy you some time so always position yourself for safety locate the hazard this is going to be a hazard you can't see very well either going around him you know from either side because you're right behind him and this is all you see so always position yourself for safety by giving yourself the best escape paths give yourself the best space cushion and then the best vision first and foremost okay oh gave myself a little dot right there all right, so right here, right here, look at his hands. So he, he's waving, he's waving, and it's, oh, crap, look at We got really close to that front car. Now, this is one of those things where you don't have a lot of room or time to mess around. So look at, he's going to, oh, crap, oh, crap, and it's that immediate, oh, crap. Is that where our hand goes? So that's definitely a panic. The fingers on the right side aren't really moving. So whenever you're, you see people in a car crash and they have like wrist injuries, it's because they're putting their hands out at the steering wheel and then the airbag blows up and then you start having wrist injuries. But the, a lot of them are like putting their hands out like, oh crap, like that's going to do something. That's a pure panic. That's a huge panic. And that's what's happening right here. Now that's perfectly fine. You know, he probably learned it after action review. Maybe some of us will panic like this. Um, but the thing is, when I talked about at the beginning, keep your hands on the handlebars if, in an area that you you need to. I do a head nod to these people if I was in this situation, just because it doesn't feel too safe. So there's there's another now the panic grab on the right side with that panic braking loss of traction. Okay, we talk about that all the time, loss of traction. So we already crashed before hitting the uh, the car. So the car didn't cause us to lose traction or cause us to to fall down what happened was that we lost traction on that front tire and it just kind of slipped up from underneath us because we applied way too much brake pressure and it took all the traction away from our tires and then boom into the back of this vehicle so 
progressive brake pressure might have slowed him down enough to be able to make a decision to to go off to the right or the left of the vehicle. Uh, who knows? But in this situation, it doesn't seem like there's much he could have done. Uh, but what we can gather from that is practice our braking, practice our space cushion, practice planning. <laughs> So I want to I want to point out that right there. Uh, this is why we wear motorcycle gear, except for Paul got in the way. Just kidding, Paul. How you doing, man? I'll read that right after this. Thank you so much. Uh, but we have his leg trapped underneath the bike. Now that could easily snap a tib fib. In that situation, you could easily uh, tear a meniscus, uh, whichever one. You got your PCL, LCLs, and you got or uh, PCLs in the uh, no in the yeah in the in the back acls are in the front anterior cruciate ligament uh, posterior cruciate ligament and then the two laterals and then you got your meniscus uh and then you got your patella you know you get all these things i love talking about medical stuff but anyways you can you can snap some of this stuff up so it's very important to wear full gear probably tim probably did prevent it i'm good Paul says, hey, Dan, just want to say thank you for all the tips and insight. I just passed my MSF course and hadn't ridden a motorcycle since I was 10. I was the only rider that class that got a perfect score on the skills test. I appreciate your hard work in safety. Congrats to Paul for passing his test. Woo. 